good morning it is friday i'm so excited that it's friday because i don't have to go to work today well i have to work from home but i don't have to physically go to work and i'm very excited i'm waiting for my coffee to brew but i bought a bunch of stuff for hair oiling i bought a bunch of oil a bamboo brush a little scalpy massage thing um because i want to try this i don't know i was on tiktok as we all are all the time. I was like looking up hair content because I wanna do something about my hair. And I wanna just like fix my hairline if I can, cause it's like kind of starting to recede a little bit. So I just like wanna fix it. So here's my before with you guys. We're gonna do hair oiling for the first time. So this is my hairline. It just could be like a little bit fuller, you know? No shade, no shame. I just wanna like a little bit. I got this Gainwell bamboo brush that I've used once. It feels really nice. And I did brush my hair with a wet brush just to like get the knots out. But I am following Isabella Kate. I don't know. I did a lot of research. She says to bamboo your hair for, oh, I put three hours, not three hours. We'll be here all day long. I wanna do it for like three minutes. So I'm just gonna put a timer on and start combing. This feels really nice, but you're supposed to like really focus on the scalp, stimulate hair growth. I mean, you could just do this with a regular brush, but I have a wet brush and the bristles are really like thin. So I don't really feel like it does the same. I don't know, okay? This is a first, guys. I'm not speaking from experience. We're gonna find out together. I saw them do like flip their hair down like this to really get the back of the head. I look super attractive. Um, but she said to take jojoba oil and mix it with rosemary oil. Apparently this is like a big debate on TikTok. People get very upset if you just go in with rosemary oil into your scalp because apparently it's really potent. I need a scissor. So I decided to just go the safe route and I'm just gonna dilute it. So I got this Teak Naturals jojoba oil. It's a big daddy jojoba oil. This is what it looks like. Miel, miele, I don't know how you say that. Rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin and encourages growth. It doesn't say to dilute it on here. I'm gonna dilute it though. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, the rosemary, probably like that much. I should have opened, I should have opened this. Um, I'm gonna take, oh wow, that's a big ass dropper. I'm gonna take a couple drops of that and I'm gonna mix it in my hand. That smells really good. And I'm just gonna massage it into my head, I guess. Like focusing it on the front of my head where I want some growth. I've been so excited to try this though. Like every day I've been waiting for this Amazon order to come and I like don't wanna do too much. And they say you should do this once a week. I don't wanna put too much oil in case like my scalp hates it. I feel good about this. <laughs> now I'm supposed to go in with this little torture contraption for five minutes, which is a very long time, but I'm gonna do it anyway because we're only doing this once a week. I bought this on Amazon too. It says you're the one on it. I don't know, but this is like a, little silicon thing and I'm just supposed to like massage the oil into the scalp. I don't know. I have no idea guys. I'm just, I'm winging it. I wanna see like, what does it look like when she massages it? Yeah, she's going in like circular motions. Oh, that actually feels really nice. Oh my God, guys, Mike and I are watching 1888 on Netflix about these people who get like lost on a ship. It's like really wild and it was, it was okay. Then it got good. Then it got like unbelievable. Like so much shit was happening. I like couldn't follow what was going on, but I think you should all watch it just because I feel like it's very different than all of the other shows. I think we're watching the last episode tonight. And I'm excited to see what happens. I hope we get some answers because it's just like really all over the place. I went and got my wet brush just because I want to brush out the ends before I put oil in the ends. Because I think it got a little naughty from all of the massaging of my scalp. 
argan oil. I've never used argan oil in my hair. I've used coconut oil. Argan oil is really hydrating. And I'm just gonna add this to the ends. And then I'm gonna go get coffee because I, I'm like struggling to think of words to even say because I haven't been caffeinated yet. Dermagen Organic Argan Oil. I just went on Amazon and looked at what was affordable. Throw this on the ends. I'm gonna put it in a clip and then I'm gonna work out. And the girl that I follow says to sleep in it overnight, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave this on for two to like three hours and then wash it out. Okay, I'm just gonna split my hair to where my part is so it's not tugging on my hair. And then I'm gonna just do a bit of this like so. And then I'm gonna work out. I'm just gonna let it marinate for a little bit. Today was my second day hair oiling. The only thing that did change is that I put it in this little like side mishmash of a braid because after hair oiling, I was reading about like clipping your hair back, which is what I did. And people said that that can kind of pull at the hair in the back of your head. So I read that like a low pony like this is the best way to go. I was gonna go work out, but then I got a package in the mail and oh. And I went to go put it, it away in my closet because it was a Christmas gift for Mike and I didn't want him to see. And right now he's at the dentist. So it was like perfect timing. I'm going to go put it away. Just the kind of person where I don't really deal with my emotions. I kind of just like suppress things and I distract myself with being busy and like doing things and like being productive and just like jam packing things into my day. However, I've been trying to be better at letting myself be sad. Like when I'm sad, I say to myself, it's okay to be sad. In the letting myself be sad, I'm really tired and it's like really draining but I wanna let myself be sad and I think it's important to embrace your feelings. This way you can feel them and then let them go. I'm worried that if I don't let myself feel feelings in the moment, then I'm gonna have like a breakdown, like a mental breakdown. But I just wanna say that like, it's okay to feel the way that you feel. And I'm not just saying this to you. I say this to myself every day and I'm saying it to myself right now as I literally look at myself in the monitor, like it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be happy. It's okay if one minute you're sad and the next minute you're happy. And I'm trying to reprogram my brain. For me, like the rest of the day, Day, I'm gonna feel crappy and I don't know if you can relate to this but I'm gonna feel crappy that I felt upset like I don't know why I like shame myself when I'm not being productive I shame myself when I'm not happy it's just like I don't know it's very weird and I'm trying to break this cycle and I think in 2023 I'm gonna make it a mission to like see someone like find a therapist or something so I don't know totally irrelevant and maybe you guys like don't want to hear about my anxiety struggles my mental health struggles and that's fine however I'm gonna sprinkle them throughout all of my vlogs because this is just like a part of my day it's not always rainbows and butterflies and I also make it a point to come on here and look crazy like this is how I look in the mornings you know I don't wake up put on a full face of makeup and get dressed just to like film I want this to be real and I want this to be a space where we all feel comfortable, myself included. I went into the closet and I went to go put Mike's gift away and then I was like, oh great, let me like clean out my closet because I've been like purging. Like I've been donating clothes, donating coats, like the winter's here, people need things. I don't need things. So I've just been like purging things and donating things. And then I started going through my closet and I found like a pile of photos. And it just sucks because you can't, you can't like go back in time or like change things. If you're having a happy day, be happy. I think that's also something that I suck at. Like when I'm having a happy time or like my day's going well, I tend to like get lost in my mind and think about like my anxiety and like pressure myself by thinking like, oh, I have to go home and I have to film this and I have to edit this and I have to do that and I have to do the other thing. Like just be present. Sometimes I'm good at it. Most of the time I'm not really good at it. I used to be a lot better at it. And then like COVID hit and I feel like my anxiety just like, if you're having a good day and nothing is wrong, I want you to be grateful that 
it's a good day and nothing is wrong. And even if you are having a, you're going through a rough patch in your life, there's always something to be grateful for. So. Did you get treats already though? Mama gave you treats, huh? My sweet boy. Good morning. My sweet babes. I don't have treats. I already gave you like three. My sweet babe. PSA, my cousin Autumn just told me that poinsettias are poisonous to cats. It won't kill them, I was reading, but it can make them really sick. Um, and of course my cat's just like me in the sense that when I tell him to not do something, if I say stay away from that area, you know, he just tends to go in that area. I sobbed all day long and I ate the shit out of my lip because anxiety. Since I have no time, I think I'm gonna just do like minimal makeup and a red lip. I'm gonna use the Beautiful Skin of Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used it in a hot minute. And this was like all that I was using for a little while, but I really haven't been using any foundation. I've just been using concealer. So today was like, not an awful day, but not a great day for me emotionally. I'm very tired. <laughs> but I really like this brush, Farah. This is an 820 FF. I don't know, they're really good though. I've tried their eyeshadow brushes and not so good, but their face brushes are pretty bomb. Mm, this is just like a weird color for me and I don't know why, but I wanna just try it again for some reason when I really don't have time to fix it. So I don't know why I'm doing that. Dior Backstage Concealer in the shade 2CR. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it's too orange for me. I'm like really over this and I want this to be done. I honestly think this is bad because I went to apply this the other day and it just like oil came out, but I spent so much money on it and I have no contour products. This is the only contour product that I have. I really like this brush by Real Techniques. It's the Expert Face Brush. It's kind of just nice for the face, like face products. It's not good with powder products. It's good with cream products. And I showed you guys this trick in my Tip Tuesday where I just do a line like that. I don't know if you guys watched my, but I hate this. See, this is why I hate this because it leaks everywhere. And then I put it in my vanity and it makes such a mess. But I did a Tip Tuesday where I showed you guys that I draw this line like this to really like lift the eye. Because in reality, what it does is it does contour no contour and then contour. So it kind of creates like a, a brightness here that lifts the eye. It's pretty cool. It kind of gives you like that ponytail effect. I think as far as shadow goes, I'm just gonna use my bronzer, Mars Laguna, just to create like some depth on this Scott Barn 62 brush. Cause I really have no time. I'm just gonna focus it like on the outer third of the eye, like right here. And then with what's ever left over, I'm gonna bring it into the nose. And then I'm gonna put a bit underneath the eye and then just connect it just to give like some kind of depth. When in doubt, I always use this Fenty How Many Carrots. So I'll use that on my eyeballs, apply it to my lid with my finger. It's just like a pretty sparkle holiday, like fun holiday. And it looks really good with a red lip. Rose Quartz by OG. Gucci. This has just like really been my go-to. And I find that like when I don't fill my brows in, I don't know. I, I don't like my face as much if I'm just being honest. So it's a Merit brow gel because this is like literally the only brow gel that I use now. I wish it came out in clear. And I know I said that in my last video and they do have it in clear, but it only comes in their holiday bundle. And I literally own everything from Merit except for the clear brow gel. So I didn't want to buy the holiday bundle. Oh, some Christmas music. I don't know if I really like this powder and I know so many of you love this powder. I just don't know. Look how big this brush is. It's huge. The Sephora 92. 
bit over the bridge of my nose just to make it look smaller. I'm gonna do some waterproof mascara because if today was any indication of how tonight is gonna go, I'm probably gonna ball my eyes out. Um, I really like this one. This is the Lancome Definicials. I don't know how you say that, but you guys know, I'm just like really loving Lancome's mascara. I'm gonna put some black on the lower lash line. Just cause I don't wanna put mascara on there. Oh wow, I've never done this before. So this is a first, but I just feel like putting a little bit of black. Looks like I put mascara on even though I didn't. And so if I cry, it's not gonna get all over me because the, the powder's not really gonna go anywhere. Wow, brilliant. I just wanna blend it out though. So it doesn't, it just kinda, you know, that's kinda cool. I might do this as a tip Tuesday. I'm gonna go get dressed because I feel like that might take a lot of time. Well, I showed you guys 90%, actually like 95% of my makeup done. Um, but then I was like rushing and I didn't show you the red lip that I wore last night. I didn't take any pictures. I didn't take any videos. We kind of just went to dinner and I just tried to be present in the dinner. I had a really rough day yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I did work out. Like I said, I was going to yesterday morning, but I didn't film it. I brought my camera downstairs um, to film some of the workouts because I don't know, I get the sense that, you know, some of you guys like to just like see whatever workout it is I'm doing, but I was like a sobbing idiot the entire time. And that's something that has been happening to me every now and then. I'm trying to just stay active and eat healthy and like take care of myself while going through difficult times because in the past, what I've done is I just like neglect myself. I don't work out, I don't eat, and then I just become like a sad shell of a being. So I've been trying to push myself to work out because honestly like working out makes me feel better mentally, physically, just all around. But unfortunately sometimes that means that I sob through my entire workout. And while I feel like I'm not doing my workout to the best of my ability while sobbing, at least I'm moving my body and I'm working out and I'm making that commitment to myself, reminding myself that I'm important and my health is important and I will show up for myself. So I woke up pretty late today. I woke up at 8.45, which is late for me. I've been waking up at like seven, which I honestly prefer, but I just had myself a day yesterday. Like I keep talking about and I just felt like my body needed it. So I slept in getting my mental health together, but also my physical health because I've been working out consistently for about a month now and I feel so much better. I lost seven pounds, which I never weigh myself, but when I was like not really working out, not really eating, I weighed myself and was like, what? I gained seven pounds in like eight weeks. So I lost that seven pounds. I'm feeling good about it. Again, I don't weigh myself often. It was just, it was, this is just like a one-off, but I'm just going on how I feel. And I'm feeling better moving. I'm feeling better working out. I'm feeling better taking care of myself. So that's what we're gonna do today. Take care of ourselves and maybe put some makeup on. I don't know. is slowly but surely dwindling. I worked out, which I think I took some footage of. I worked out for like over an hour. It was just like one of those days where it felt really good so I didn't want to stop. I need to put something on my lips because I just keep eating the crap out of them and I really love this. The, what is this, Tarte Sugar Rush in Dragon Fruit. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. It just like elevates the lips and it's a little tinted. Also, I got a Gymshark delivery today, which I, I think I told you already because I showed you the sports bras, but I also got this like little crop top with long sleeves that I think is really cute. And then I got these, I thought they were workout pants, but they're kind of like really soft, almost like pajama, like joggers. They have pockets in them, cinched at the bottom.
soda, cinnamon, and espresso powder. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. There's one and a half. You're not doing two and a half? No, I'm doing it. Okay, so we're doing two and a half we're in here right now. We only have one cup, so we can't do any more. Okay, than one so I can put the flour in here? Yes. Okay. And one more cup. One and a half, and another one is two and a half. Can I not do half? So now we're good. Two and a half. Is that a full cup? I think so. Okay. Looks full to me. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Just open the top over the sink. I'm bossy. Oh. Okay. Salt. Why are we boned? We're not baking soda. Yes, we do. It's in the fridge. We had this conversation yesterday. Huh? We had this conversation yesterday. Here you go. Baking soda. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And one and a half teaspoons of espresso powder. One. And a half. Espresso powder. Okay. Whisk well to combine and then set aside. Whisk well. Oh, I just get to do like all the boring things? I can always Like put it all together? You know, I've, I've earned a, a uh, promotion in the kitchen, if anything, this year. Set aside. Set. So we did some flour, salt, baking soda, cinnamon in a separate large bowl. Okay. I wonder if we should put that one in this one. Why? What's going in here? Combine butter and both sugars and beat on medium speed until light and fluffy, fluffy, scraping the sides and bottom of the bowl as needed for about two minutes. Then add in the vanilla, Baileys, and beat until combined. Mm -hmm. Then we need to beat in the eggs. Uh -huh. We should switch it, right? Yeah. How much butter goes in here? Two. Damn, fatty. Two whole sticks? Sugar. Sugar? Dark brown sugar, one cup. And one half cup of white sugar. Oh my God, cookies are so bad for you. Okay. And you had like how many cookies last night? All right, take it easy. I, was I mean, I had four and okay. that was disgusting. Well, I had like eight. Oh my God. <laughs> one year, my sister made a uh, cake for Christmas Eve mm -hmm. and Instead of sugar, it called for like a cup of sugar and she put a cup of salt. And it was really cute because my grandpa tried it and was like, oh, this is so good. Like, you did such a good job. And he was like, oh, sweet, the cake's great. It was disgusting. Like, we couldn't even eat it. It was funny. Combine butter and both sugars and beat on medium speed until light and fluffy. Are you going to beat it? Scraping the sides and bottom of the bowl as needed. I leave you to beat it, I think. Okay. Do you have vanilla extract? Yeah, we do. It's in the, yeah. How much? That's any extract. Okay, well, yeah. This looks disgusting. How much though? Okay, I saw that. What, how much what? How much of this? Oh, uh, you couldn't, so here we're... Well, we have to take a break because pastry chef Michael doesn't know how to prepare for baking. So, look at this breakfast though. Right. The butter was ready. It was not ready. It was hard. And this one, get off the table. Right, man you. Back to our paid programming. Unpaid programming. Unpaid programming. How many cups of this? No. Three tablespoons. Oh, that's it? I'm trying to get lit. They said big though. It's, it's not really Bailey's though. Same thing. Is it though? It's a Bailey's. If it were the same thing, wouldn't it be called Bailey's? This is better. Okay, mix it up. It's say fold in, there's like another step. You wanna do this? Beat in, no, I don't wanna do this. Using a wooden spoon or a sturdy spatula, gently fold in the flour mixture, stirring only until the flour begins to disappear. Fold in the chocolate chips. This reminds me of Schitt's Creek. 
What does fold mean? What does fold mean? Show us what folding means. No idea. Okay. It looks like you have no idea, honestly. Oh wow, those are so tiny. All right, stop there. That's a lot more. All of them? Yeah, do it. How many is this gonna make? It's supposed to make 24, but I don't know. Seems like a lot, no? 24 cookies? No, I'm saying that seems like a lot of batter you got. A lot of batter was made. I understand what you're saying right now. We made the batter for 24 cookies. I feel like it's gonna make more than 24. Because well, we're making them a little bit smaller, and that's fine. We'll give them away. Send some to your family, send some to my family, let other people try them. They're doing a lot of complaining. What's wrong with them? They're too big, they're too chocolatey, there's too much batter. I mean, you've been here five seconds and you've complained about three separate things already. Too big. Oh, is that you complaining about no, how big I'm making? Just facts. Cookie? No, well maybe I feel like I'm stating facts. Is that to your liking? No, too big. Did you just throw away my yeah. cookie? I did. Perfect. Thank God. A little small, actually. Oh my God. Are you ever happy? I'm always happy. Is that too small? I just can't win. What the fuck is that? It's the one that you made. I just put it there. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That's rude. Little ball. I'm getting good at this. Mm -hmm. yeah.